to all websites and you will see a lot of posts in the elementor community as well even we are receiving messages around it right so i basically decided to create this video now we have already written an article on this and this was uh, you know written like when flexbox container was basically released i wrote an article on this topic now i i have updated this uh, article and i have written uh, one more article on this uh, you will find a link to that in the description box below both the articles i have to update one but i've written a new content on the uh, a, a new basically a new piece on this now before we dive into the process there are two things that i want you to know and uh, the first one is um, these are two very different ways of uh, you know creating layouts using elementor basically i'm talking about uh, the flexbox container and the inner section widgets these are two very very different ways of doing things with elementor these are two different paths that you can follow now elementor has been releasing features around uh, the flexbox containers so if you do not use that future uh, feature in the uh, future then you will miss out on a lot of elementor features so keep this in mind i want you to work with the flexbox containers but in case you want to activate uh, intersection widget right now you can do that but slowly and steadily move to the flexbox containers now when we talk about two different paths of doing things you need to know here one thing and that is uh, you cannot use both of these together. Uh, so basically what I mean by that is you cannot use the Flexbox containers with the intersection widget or the intersection widget with the uh, Flexbox container or you cannot use them interchangeably as well. Which means if you will activate one, the other will be deactivated. Okay. Now the next thing that I want you to know is that if you have the flexbox container active on your site then you will notice that you can convert the inner section widget or the um, not the inner section widget the layouts that you have created using the inner section widget to the flexbox containers right you will see that option. Uh, to convert on every section or um, uh, the pages that you have created you will find that option everywhere right. So you can easily convert that, but to convert that, I basically recommend that you do it on a staging website first, take a backup first, keep yourself secure and then do that. Do not do that on a, uh, what do we call it, a live website. Do that on a staging environment first and then push those changes to the live website. That is the preferred and the recommended uh, uh, way to do, to make basically such changes, okay. Now this is a very very raw video so you you will be uh, listening to you know everything what whatever is coming to my mind i'm right now speaking to you because i want to get the point across right why people are facing problems this is a genuine problem that people are facing um and you know in some cases this is you know uh, hitting the websites hard so uh, that is why i am creating this video now the second thing that you need to know here is that um uh if you have created layouts using the flexbox container and now you want to move to the intersection widget then don't do that because you know on uh, deactivating the flexbox container or you can say on reactivating the intersection widget you will lose all of the progress that you have made your layouts will be deleted your uh, content will be deleted okay so keep this in mind now this is a major major change so uh, basically um any change that you make reactivating or deactivating make sure you take a backup before you do anything okay in case just for additional security you know this is just a concerning thing uh, because we create tutorials to help people out and uh, and this is not the uh, kind of video that i want to do generally but make such changes on a um, on on a staging environment first and then push them to a live website you know any this is not just for element or even in wordpress people who work with me my general suggestion to that is you know before you make any changes minor or major take a backup first download that copy on your system on a remote storage so for in case anything goes wrong you have a working copy that you can use always and your site is up and running the next thing is the staging website that is an important part as well 
these are some major changes because you you are going from one environment to the other you are going for you are making a transition from the inner section to the flexbox container or from the flexbox container to the inner section now i do not recommend going from flexbox container if you are using flexbox container do not move to inner section you will lose out on a lot of features okay so keep this in mind now in case you know you have used intersection widget most of your website is built using intersection widget and you are being hit by this update then of course yes, go back to intersection widget fix your right but make these changes through a staging website make the transition process as smooth as possible take backups staging website then push changes to live right so this is the process that you need to follow so keep this in mind okay now again i've created this this is a very very small tutorial using which you can get your uh, basically the intersection widget back uh -huh. again if you want to buy element of rolling to that is in the description box below links to our social is in the description box below feel free to follow us on all platforms uh, and if you find the video helpful then make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell so here we are in the wordpress dashboard and as you can see we have created these two posts so the first one is the layout built using the containers what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit it with elementor and as you can see i have created this basic web page basic structure of a web page that is built using containers now why i have created this just to show you then uh, you know on fixing this problem you will lose all of this content right i have mentioned this in the uh, introduction of the video as well that if you have created anything built using containers then you will have to take a backup first then you know you can go on and you know uh, fix this missing intersection widget problem basically it is not a problem uh, elementor is heading towards the uh, flexbox container that is the path to follow but a lot of websites are using the intersection widget because that was the only way available first so just to make the transition smooth uh, uh, we are creating this video uh, and showcasing you how you can get your intersection widget back and then slowly transition to flexbox container so keep this in mind that when you will uh, you know fix the missing intersection widget problem what you're going to do is you're going to lose all of this so make sure you take a backup first make sure you are making such changes on a development environment first and then you are pushing them to the live website if there are any sort of a problems that you can uh, that you are basically experiencing so this is the other side of uh, the issue uh, that we are going to discuss and i will be discussing this towards the end of the video uh, so make sure you watch this video completely now the next post that you will see right here is the intersection uh, missing post and i'm going to edit this with elementor as well now this is just a uh, blank post just to show you that we have the container widget right here and the intersection widget is missing now again let's head over to this post you can see containers are right here intersection widget is missing and we have created this layout uh, using the containers right now to fix the missing intersection widget what you are going to do is you are going to head over to elementor settings now for that what you are going to do is you are going to locate the elementor right here in the uh, wordpress admin side panel and then you will see settings right here so i'm going to click the settings right here and you will see this features tab now you're going to click this features tab okay the first thing that you are going to see is all of the ongoing experiments the ongoing experiments we have to scroll down scroll down then you are going to come across stable features now in elementor 3.16 uh, the flexbox container has been upgraded to the stable features and it comes active by default in the new installations so what we are going to do is we are going to scroll down and you will see flexbox container is right here and it is active now this green icon shows any of the stable features over the experiments are active so you can see active is right here active is in the drop down now to deactivate it what we are going to do is we are going to click uh, we are going to click this drop down and select inactive right here a prompt appears and this prompt basically tells you that it will delete any of the content that you have created with uh, containers so keep this in mind this is what i was trying to tell you that you will not be able to use any of the new features that are coming for the uh, uh, for the flexbox containers because elementor has been uh, revamping and releasing new features around the flexbox containers so uh, make sure you get used to this feature okay for right now you can move to the uh, intersection uh, widget but learn and move 
quickly okay uh, that is the only purpose for creating this video just to guide you okay now again you will uh, lose access to all of the content that you have created and all of the container based features such as tabs and the menus so what i have done here is i have used the new menu widget just to show you okay now to reactivate all you have to do is click deactivate right here and it basically deactivates the flexbox container so it has a green icon that says inactive inactive is selected right here now what i'm going to do is so basically this deactivates the flexbox container or the container widget now what i'm going to do is we're going to head over to this post the blank one that we have created and you can see container is right here and i'm going to refresh it And you can see the inner section widget is back but the container is now missing so you won't be able to use the containers but you will be able to use the inner section widget so keep this in mind right now again before i go to the next post uh the second post that we have created that is about the uh, layout that we have created one thing that i want to tell you again is you know you cannot use both of these things interchangeably right uh, there is an option available where uh, you know you can edit the sections that you've created using the intersection widget when you have the containers active right you can still edit those sections and move them to containers but there is no option for uh, available for you to transition the um uh, what do we say the layouts that you've created using the containers to the uh, intersection widget right you will have to you cannot use these uh, you know two different paths of creating layout interchangeably all together that is what i'm trying to tell you here okay so that is what you see if you are using the flexbox containers you cannot use the intersection widgets if you are using the intersection widgets then you can use the flexbox containers right now comes the part which is this one we have created this layout we have put in a lot of effort to create this although we have not but i'm just saying to somebody you know who is who has created who has put in an effort on using the flexbox containers but now wants to transition to the intersection with it that is not the way to go that is i'm going to give that disclaimer right here that is not the way to go if you have built a complete website using the intersection with it then you know i can think of a scenario where you can use intersection widget for a for some time and then slowly transition to flexbox uh, containers but you have built anything using the flexbox containers and now you are willing to transition to intersection widget that is not the way to go okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click refresh right here And you can see all of the content that i have created is gone right it is missing this is not the new page or any other page uh, this is the layout that we have built using the containers that was the title of this page right everything is gone this is what i wanted to showcase you now again before you make any massive changes on your website be it you are transitioning from containers to intersection or intersection to containers whatever it is that you are trying to do or making any other change to your website make sure you take a backup so that you have a safe copy of your website with you for in case anything goes wrong you can use that copy okay the next thing is try to use development environments first make it a habit you know if you are making massive ui changes then go through a development environment if everything works on a development environment then transition that to your main live website right the purpose again the purpose of a uh, of me creating videos or for any other content creator uh, who is creating videos is to just to give you the knowledge and make you understand each of the scenarios so that you do not falter we want to make your life easier right it is not our purpose to you know uh, you know make matters worse for you we want to make things easier for you and that is why i have created this video now if you have found the content helpful make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell now in case you are looking to buy elementor pro link to it is in the description box below and uh, you know uh, we will be releasing more videos so make sure you subscribe now i hope you will find this video helpful and are able to fix the intersection widget problem on your website now if you did then make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell in case you have any queries feel free to comment down below and i will try and help 
Also, the links to our socials, uh, link to Buy Element or Pro, everything is in the description box below. Feel free to follow us on other platforms as well. And with that said, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.